then sell those cards. How much money can you make buying and selling trading cards in a week? We'll hopefully answer that question and give you some tips just in case you want to get into buying and selling trading cards a little bit more yourself. What is going on, collectors? Hopefully you guys are doing well out there. Time to talk about this week's sales. Just over the last seven days, we've only sold on two platforms. We sold both on Check Out My Cards and we also sold on Golden. So I'll go through the stats for each and I'll have a running total and give you a summary at the end. Over at Check Out My Cards, we sold just over 100 cards for a total sales amount of $262. Profit coming in at about $81. Some of you might be asking, you know, what, you know, how how are we buying and selling these cards? Where are these cards coming from? Well, the vast majority of them are just coming from the site. Maybe you buy this Jack Nicholas card for 12 cents and you sell it for 24 cents. Now, what Ryan likes to do is he actually likes to get on the eBay auction. So check out my cards runs regular eBay auctions and you can bid on them with your own eBay account and then pay directly from your check out my cards account. So it saves you on shipping. And if you have a balance on check out my cards and you, you want to do something with it, it is something to do. So he comes in here and he bids on some of these cards and a lot of these cards we basically just buy and resell now what i tend to do is i get on there and i focus on just one player and i would actually recommend this if you're relatively new i focus i just buy kobe bryant cards like i bought this kobe bryant card for two dollars and as you can see, pretty good deal. Lowest uh, price on the site is $4.50. I've sold this card for $4 uh, quite a bit. I got this Flare Showcase card. I paid $7.50. Lowest price is $15. That's on sale, $19 more regularly. I'll probably get, you know, 10, 10 and a half out of a card like this. Here's another card I paid $3 for. Lowest price is for six. So I tend to focus on one player. I buy Kobe Bryant. I buy Michael Jordan. I'll buy LeBron James. You could do this with Emmett Smith, Jerry Rice, Joe Montana, any of the great players. Certainly, you could do this with the prospects as well, but you run the risk of those cards depreciating on you if that player doesn't happen to perform. Will Greer. I try not to rely on player performance. Ryan is jumping on these eBay auctions, which again, run regularly on Check On My Cards. You bid on them with your own account, and then you come over here to Check On My Cards and you pay it through your balance, which at the current time, we have about $224 over here. So we'll be looking to spend that over the next week or so. Now, Kenny's site Ken Golden. has just been on fire. This actually is where the growth is coming uh, from our business wise. We pretty much are buying just about anything over here. We bought this Pokemon card for $6, sold it later in the week for $10. We bought this PSA 10 prospect card for $8 and we ended up selling it for $10. We bought this Ken Griffey Jr. card for $6. That is a PSA 6. You can Google it. And we ended up doubling our money on it, sold that for $12. We bought this Joe Montana card. This is the second one in subsequent weeks that we bought of this card. We only paid $89 for this one, and we ended up selling it for $110. We bought this Aaron Rodgers card for $13 sold it for 15. You kind of get the idea here. You're not really making tons of money, but there is plenty of volume here. We bought this Michael Jordan card for $13, sold it for 27, more than doubled your money there. We bought this Johnny Unitas card. This was probably our biggest profit of the week, paid just $52 for that and sold it for $125. This Nolan Ryan card, we paid $20 for it and we ended up selling it for $25. We bought this Kevin Garnett card for $11 and sold it for $14. We bought this soccer player for $6. I tell you what, I don't know half of these players, but you buy it for six and you sell it for 12. That is a good day. Now we sold a lot of cards basically for what we paid for them. And some of you might say, well, that's kind of backwards. That's not really a good business, but uh, look, sometimes it's about cash flow in the early days. And I certainly could have counter offered. I sold all of these cards off an offer. I could have counter offered to a dollar or $2 more and they may have accepted, but look, sometimes it's okay to give other collectors out there a good deal. Sold this card for what we paid for it, made a dollar on this Carl Malone, I think made a dollar or two on this Michael Jordan, made a dollar or two on this card, sold that for what we paid for it, made a dollar there, made a couple dollars on that card. Ryan actually bought this Anthony Davis card off of eBay. So he buys cards from DC Sports on eBay, and then he ends up shipping them, them to the PSA vault, which then you can sell on gold. Marketplace. So he bought this card 
on eBay, and in the same week, it gets shipped to the collector's vault. Then he lists it on Golden Site, and then it sells. I think he made like over two and a half dollars on just a couple of dollar cards. It's actually pretty impressive, considering he never had to touch the card. It's exciting, it's exciting, it's exciting. Didn't make any money there. We actually lost a dollar there, gave a collector good deals on those two cards, lost the money there, and sold a few more cards, as you can see. Maybe making a couple dollar profits on these soccer cards, you're making three, four dollars on those. That minimum price in Ken Golden's auctions is about a $6 after a buyer's premium. Okay. So anytime you're selling something for $6, you're basically breaking even now this was last week we ran a huge sale on check on my card sold well over 1300 cards but made very little profit it was really just to get some cash flow in the door same thing with ken golden site was just kind of getting going on that we just had our inventory cross literally just last week and we're actually pretty pleased with the sales and now you're going to see the growth now check on my cards we didn't run a big sale but we actually made almost the same amount of profit selling far less cards that's probably going to be a little bit more typical with check on my cards. The exciting thing is that you're seeing the growth in the golden as our inventory is starting to hit over there as it takes a minute for you to buy the cards and then have them appear in your collector's vault and then reappear on the marketplace. You see, we doubled the number of cards that we sold. Our total sales more than doubled and our profit basically tripled. So that's exciting. Now, obviously 129 cards for the week, $752 in net sales. $236 in profit. That's not going to feed anybody's family, but you know, like what Grant Cardone is always preaching, you're trying to 10x this. So you're going to go on the journey over here at Sports Card Radio. We're going to try to 10x these numbers. We're looking for probably seven to $10,000 in sales per week and over $2,000 in profit per week. That would put you at about an $8,000 profit run rate. That would definitely make this business very interesting. And We'll be on that journey over here at Sports Card Radio. If you want to go along for the ride, be our guest. If not, we wish you luck, and we'll see you again next time. Why are you a dip?